Mesa Cleaners has shut down again. Last month, we told you all three of the stores closed without notice, but at least three were reopened. At that time, the dry cleaners owed more than $18,000 in back rent. Today, that bill has jumped up to more than $40,000. KXA's Candy Rodriguez spoke today with a customer who says he just wants his clothes back. There's like a turquoise and blue striped shirt. Rick Hall can only stare at his 10 dress shirts inside the Mesa Cleaners on Mesa Drive. Oh, that's about $500 worth of clothes in there that I don't want to just walk away from. He's one of the many dry cleaners customers who had to learn the hard way the store had closed again. I saw the posting from the management company and all the little notes from other customers. Shortly after closing last month for failing to pay late fees and rent, Mesa Cleaners reopened after paying Goodwin Management some of the money owed. But that was short-lived. Goodwin Management says they failed to pay the rest, and now Mesa Cleaners owes $41,000. It's going to take a lot of $10 dry cleaning to, to pay that $40,000 off. And customers are being asked to contact the owners. Taped on the window, phone numbers and addresses. We called and called, no luck. We went to an address listed, the owner no longer lives there. Some customers upset with the management company claiming they're using the clothes as leverage. But Goodwin Management says they're in the process of claiming the building as abandoned in hopes of returning the clothes to its proper owners. This is our property and you know we need to have it returned. Candy Rodriguez, KXAN News. Quite a bit of dry cleaning back in here. Uh-oh, Mesa Cleaners is also associated with Fashion Cleaners. They are also closed. Goodwood Management says that they hope that this process won't take longer than a month and will post on social media to let customers know when they can pick up their clothing.